In today's video, we'll be painting this Civic using Rust-Oleum's 2X Paint Plus Primer, the ultimate high gloss. Now this is called Project Panda. It's on my Texas Honda channel, which there will be a link for in the description below. Um, we're gonna be painting it white. He's gonna be keeping the flares, side skirt, and front lip black. And uh, we're gonna have black accents, AKA Project Panda. He also likes Panda. So as you can see in there, but uh, this is his car. So we're just gonna throw some Rust-Oleum paint on it, make it look a little bit better. But before that, we've got to sand it down. One of the things about this car is he's doing a time attack theme on it, so it's not going to be perfect or flawless. We ended up doing the speed holes on the front bumper. Um, it does have body damage here and there, which isn't a big deal for him. Uh, he actually likes that kind of not fully beat up theme, but you know, somewhat beat up. So we're definitely going to be doing all of that. Um, we're going to be sanding it down some 320 in the harder spots where there's some like rust and stuff like that. We'll probably go down to 220. Uh, sand to 320 then 400 make it nice and smooth one of the things is if you can feel it with your hands you'll see it with your in your paint job so um, just a quick tip take a paper towel and put it on your hand and rub through the paint and if you feel anything on your fingertips through the paper towel you'll see that in your paint job and you'll want that as smooth as possible so that's just how i like to tell um, but on this car it's not going to be a big deal so we're just gonna basically be sanding it all down and getting it prepped ready for the uh, white. So um, the hood will be going black, correct? And we're not gonna be doing it right now. You don't have any black? I bought another can of white and another can of black, so it's kind of up in the air right now. Okay, well, we could do it white. Um, I would like to do it white, but then if we run out of paint, we'll do it black. Okay, so there we go. We'll take this off. Um, when we go to paint along with the front bumper headlights out and the grill um, so that way we can focus on the fenders then move our way back this way um, all the black accents will be staying black so we'll be taping those off pulling this trim here out and uh, taping off the door handles stuff like that uh, because it is going to be panda themed we want the white and the black um, we would typically paint these, but we're not going to on this particular setup because I think it'll look really good, more panda themed. Um, so we're basically just gonna go ahead, get the electric sander out um, and the 320 and start sanding. Okay, so I'm gonna be starting with 120 on this area just to knock it down quicker and uh, then we'll move up. <laughs> So I can feel it's a lot smoother than it was. Um, there is still a little transition. So we'll probably uh, step up to 220, then 320, and that should smooth out on the transitions. Um, basically just do that throughout the whole thing till it's all smooth and it'll be good to go. Now on the hood, like in these areas right here, this 120 will knock it down really fast, but the same thing goes for the hood and peeling clear coat. You want it to have a smooth, fluid transition, because if it doesn't, you will definitely see it in the paint. So I just wanted to give you guys another disclaimer um, and let you know that these are not an exact science. These are more of a guideline. Um, I'm not a professional painter or anything. I just like to paint as a hobby. I, want you, I don't want to give you guys the impression that this is how you're supposed to do it or you have to do it this way. Um, do it whatever way works for you. I'm just showing you the ways that work for me and it lasts a long time. So um, take what you want from this video, but that's basically what I'm doing is just showing you how I do it. So we're gonna go ahead and get to it. taking too long i'm just gonna do movie magic for you guys ready in three two one all right so we're over here at that garage i'm sure you guys have seen him in previous videos i'll put a link in the description so you can go check out his channel he has some pretty stu cool stuff coming soon he did this slammed uh porsche or ferrari or what is it ferrari, ferrari oh, yeah. 12 Berlin. what's up that's awesome 
Uh, he did this for his little girl, slammed it. Deep dish wheels, just like his. Um, NSX. Yes, he has a lot of stuff coming out. Uh, he's just been real busy. He hasn't been able to edit it. But there's some other projects that might possibly be on his channel. I'm pretty sure they will. Yeah. And he's got carbon fiber stuff going in and Air cups, what's up? it's pretty cool. So we're going to be painting the Panda here. Um, well, the Panda, Project Panda here. As you can see, it's out there. So he's just gonna move this out. We're gonna clean it up a little bit in here and we'll be good to go. So we got it here at the garage. Um, as you've seen, we sanded it down. We've since wiped it down and washed it. And at some point, someone like exploded soda, pop, whatever you want to call it, sticky substance all over his car. I've already wiped the roof down, um, but it's on the actual sunroof. So we're not exactly sure when or what it is, but we're gonna wipe it down with acetone and isopropyl alcohol water mixture. Um, and that way it'll be nice and clean surface and hopefully we don't have any chemical reactions because we have no idea what this is But it's super sticky. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. He's gonna go ahead and take all the um, fender flares off and We'll take the hood off most likely so that way we can plastic up the bay and yeah We'll go ahead and get started minutes later we got it to this point right here this is where we will tape up all the seals uh, really closely on the black side as you can see someone didn't do a good job in the past but uh we're gonna go ahead and tape all these seals up remove this piece here which is really simple um, basically just you can pull these out they have like a push you push then pull type deal it's pretty simple we're gonna make sure to clean all that out because there's stuff in there. We'll tape up the sunroof. Now we're keeping it cracked like this, that way we can get all the way around the seal um, and we can get to this piece back here. This, we'll probably just move it up out of the way. Um, taking it out kind of can suck at times. So, I don't know, we just like to pull them up and tape them up. But yeah, so we're gonna get the plastic over the engine bay and the windows and Tape everything up, cover the wheels, take the uh, black side skirts off, and then we will uh, be ready to shoot it with some paint. Okay, so we're just gonna use movie magic. So when I snap my fingers, all this will be ready to paint. Well, there it is. It's all prepped and ready to go. I'm gonna go ahead and put the GoPro on my um, head mount. That way you guys can see it all in first person view. So let's do this. All right, so just uh, basically follow along. I'll put some music to this. Uh, just watch how I do it, and here we go.
All right, so here it is. Looks pretty freaking good. Um, it only took six cans, and we went over it a couple times because it was a silver, um, so it kind of bled through a little bit. But overall, it's pretty freaking shiny. Looks really good. He's not gonna put clear over it, but it does have a pretty good gloss to it. This is the high gloss formula. Um, everywhere looks pretty decent. So basically we're going to just take all of the plastic and tape off of the wheels and stuff, put it all back together, put the flares back on it, and then I'm gonna paint the hood separate. I'm gonna paint it off the car. Uh, that way whenever I'm spraying, it doesn't overspray onto the fenders and ruin the shiny look that it has. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and do that. So sit tight and we'll be right back. All right, so here it is put back together, uh, except for the hood, we're about to paint that. Um, but everything else is back together, side skirts, front lips, uh, fender flares, and all the moldings and stuff like that. So he still has to get the side trims, he doesn't have them. Um, so he'll be getting those soon. But here it is looking really good, has a pretty decent shine to it. And uh, only one more thing to ask is, is it Panda approved? Awesome. Okay, so now we're just going to push this back and then we will uh, paint the hood. And once the hood's dry, we'll put it on. All right, so here it is. Um, I did want to tell you guys that this car looked way different about a week or two ago. Um, it was completely stock. Uh, he paid $75 for these wheels, 45 for the fender flares. Uh, the spray can paint job for just the paint was around 35, 40 at max, because he did do the satin black on those. Um, but for this white, it was about 30, 35 bucks. So he doesn't have a whole lot wrapped up in it and I'll put a before picture right here. So you guys can actually see that thing it used to just be stock. And then um, he took another picture when it was silver and he's done a little work. And uh, now here it is, looks way different. Um, those speed holes we just cut out with a two inch hole saw and uh, just the spray can paint job. And then the Panda sticker on the window and the side skirts he made out of rain guttering for $10. Pretty cool. And the front lip was made out of garden edging, um, which was like $20, but he still has a ton of it left. If he wanted to, he could go do the back as well. So really cheap build. Um, and this is just his daily driver. It's automatic, it's nothing fast, it's nothing furious, but uh, Panda likes it. So Panda approves and it's pretty sweet. Um, there is no clear coat. He doesn't want to spend the money on the 2K clear since it has damage and it's just kind of meh. He just wanted it to look better than it did. So we hooked him up with a cool paint job. Um, it'll last quite a while. And if it doesn't, we'll sand it down and Raptor line it white, right? Mm -hmm. Sounds good. But yeah, it looks really good and it should last him a little while. And he's happy with it, which makes me happy because it looks really nice. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to uh, smash that like button and uh, drop a comment below. Check out my other spray can videos. I have more how to and spray can paint jobs and stuff like that, um, but definitely happy with how it turned out. So um, until the next one guys, God bless, stay safe, stay awesome. And uh, Panda, got anything else? Awesome, Panda approved. All right, we'll see you in the next one. God bless.